Well, it's happening. We put this one off for long enough. I think it's about time to discuss the Solana exit strategy. If you're new around here, we'll be objectively conversing about what targets I will scale my Solana out at and why. I'm sure it's one of the few exit strategy videos almost every single one of you can relate to, so the pressure is definitely on. But I think we can cook up something good here. Make sure you're subscribed for more of these videos you don't want to miss them. And a big congratulations to user ID 523198. You just won the weekly $100 giveaway. Go check out your fair desk account. All they did was sign up to Fair Desk with link in description and make a copy or futures trade. That's quite literally it. So sign up to the Fair Desk crypto exchange because guess what we're giving away another 100 in a couple days. Again make an account and make a trade and you're in. It's one of the few non-KYC non-VPN exchanges that can be used all over the world including those restricted countries like the USA and Canada. Plus with that link you'll be getting VIP 1 status and up to 100k bonuses so not bad at all if you asked me. But going back to Seoul we have a lot of things to dissect so let's begin. First up the USD chart. Everything moving pretty much picture perfect. On the weekly we got higher highs and higher lows. Closes well above the 50% drawdown level going only as low as 35%. The trend line from 20 bucks still well intact. Rejection from the current top coming in exactly where you'd expect being the last monthly hold level left remaining. Formed back in November 2021. I'm glad we got the test and rejection of this level over with now as this sets up pretty well for the next legs up across the market. We may only have one or two of those left so on the next push up if it is just one we won't have to worry too much about this resistance zone Seoul should break into price discovery in the next phase from there whether it pushes up to 300 and beyond is yet to be seen but if we then get an additional market-wide pump the last one leading into that blow off top that is where those 600 800 1000 levels for Seoul may be achieved we'll get more into that in a second all you need to know for now is Seoul versus usd is in a solid position. And by the way this rejection is also where the 786 fib comes in. These things don't just rhyme for a reason. Yet more confluence the next leg up should be the test and break of highs then on we go from there. In terms of Solana versus BTC there's fairly similar action to its USD chart. Although we're still yet to test that same monthly hold level or the 786 so there's something to think about. But one thing I would like to point out is that Solana doesn't necessarily need the same type of price action as we saw with its USD chart. Don't get me wrong it'd obviously be great if Seoul keeps chatting up from here and smashes highs versus Bitcoin getting to 100,000 sats or something. That would mean Seoul performs insane this cycle. But the truth is we don't even need that per se. Remember the BTC chart has one unique element, and that a crypto asset doesn't have to in the long run win or die against Bitcoin, rather the chart could act as an oscillator. Look at ETH versus Bitcoin last cycle. If you were around during this time everyone and their mother was expecting ETH to continue putting in highs versus BTC as its USD chart was melting up. That evidently did not occur however, but that also doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Seoul's already done the bulk of the work it should have versus Bitcoin this cycle. It's clearly going to put a run in so I'd be more worried about other BTC charts if they don't yet look like this. And speaking of ETH if we look at Seoul versus Ethereum, this one on some charts has already wicked to new highs although no closes yet. I'm hearing a lot of people say they expect Seoul to continue outperforming ETH from here and that too substantially while others are saying the chart has topped. That this too is perhaps an oscillator and not an upward trending chart which so many expected even just a couple weeks ago. But regardless we don't even need Seoul smashing these highs per se. ETH has probably entered its zone of outperforming Bitcoin for the rest of the cycle given the ETH ETF and what is hopefully the ETH BTC low. If Seoul can achieve parity with ETH not even outperformance, that'll still be a great sign. But if Seoul still outpaces ETH even from this moment on things could start to get nasty on the Seoul USD chart. Because as I just said ETH USD is starting to shape up for some big performance going forward. In terms of bullish narratives for Seoul to add fuel to its price appreciating fire, there's two I've got on my mind. First of which being the Fire Dancer upgrade. We expect it to go live sometime this year which is great because assuming we go full bull market soon that'll mean it'll be quite the bullish catalyst. As always it will likely be a local top but probably not a market cycle top depending on how early we get it. But if it occurs late Q4 then perhaps it could be. Remember Fire Dancer permits a much faster validator client for transactions versus the current iteration. The hope is an improvement on sole usage and scalability and that too a significant one which would be 
quite substantial when it gets realized. Another concept I'd like to bring up is the FAT protocol thesis. You may have heard of this before. The idea is we have the protocol and the applications built on top of it. In this case, soul being the protocol and whatever applications it has. And how the value of an application is limited. But for that base layer is in a way exponential because it'll always be capturing some value no matter how limited. And it's actually not so much that there's killer dApps being built on soul, but something else something unique being the meme coin craze. The meme coin frenzy on soul could perhaps be one of the greatest examples of the fat protocol thesis we've ever seen. With Solana becoming the base layer for most new memes that will always deliver value back to soul. Thousands of new memes are created every day. Most of them you'll never hear of or care about. A few will be groundbreaking and get to absurd valuations. Where to date it's the likes of Whiff and Bonk and Book of Meme Pop Cat Mega Mew Myro the list goes on. We're still yet to see where these top by the end of the cycle. But regardless Soul will be in the epicenter of it all. Phantom wallet downloads are skyrocketing. Celebrities are all launching their own meme coins. Memes are set to be one of the biggest narratives of this cycle the trend that will reappear over and over again when things get boring. We're still yet to see normies catch on. Solana could become the world's greatest casino these next 12 months. The Soul token will be needed to execute everything. Let's now move on to specific Soul targets and my exit strategy for this cycle. We'll go with a top-down approach by first discussing if Solana can hit that coveted four-digit mark. Can Soul get to $1,000 this cycle? My answer is yes, it possibly can. I draw these conclusions based on the performance of ETH from previous cycles. The top from ETH in its second cycle gained over 300% from its first cycle top. A similar gain for Sol in its second cycle versus its first would put Sol at around 1100. ETH based on its 2018 top and 2019 bottom forms the following FIB levels. ETH topped exactly on its final FIB extension for its 2021 top. If Sol were to hit its top FIB level based on its 2021 high and 2022 bottom, it'd also be around 1100. You of course could be saying Sol doesn't have to perform in its second cycle how ETH did, to which I'd 100% agree, but the two did have some similarities in their first cycle. When ETH first launched in 2015 it had a mini run before the parabolic vertical bars of the bull market. Seoul also did the same following its launch in 2020. They both corrected 70 something percent, but more importantly, that gain on that mini run to their respective cycle tops was around the exact same at 5200 percent, and also with those run-ups it took the same amount of bars, 10 months from that initial green month to top. I'd also like to point out that if Seoul were to reach $1,000 exactly, and if we adjust for its around 7% inflation, that'd put the market cap exactly at $500 billion, which I also found interesting. Is this all a way for me to say Seoul reaches $1,000? Absolutely not. But it's also not as impossible as a lot presume. For me I'm not exactly looking to sell all my soul at the $1,000 mark. On the way up I'll be scaling out, but I do plan to have a little moon bag that tries to push those higher price levels. By far however the most important level for soul this cycle will be $500 or the $250 billion market cap valuation. This level and how price reacts will probably be the inflection point, the difference maker in getting to those high hundreds or not. I think there'll be a lot of struggle at this level. We honestly may not even test it. A lot of people have 500 as their market top for the cycle. They think it'll be hit easily, but I'm not so sure. It's the same exact thing every cycle with all these crypto, Bitcoin and 100k in 2021. Everyone thought that was a lock. We fell short dramatically. ETH and 5k, so close yet so far, essentially got there but would you believe the amount of people left bag holders yearning for that final 100 bucks which they never ended up getting. I will therefore aggressively be scaling out my sole position between the 380 and 420 zone. I'm ready to dump around 70% of my sole holdings in this price area. That'll give me around a 30x from my entry of 13 bucks which isn't bad at all. It may not be that infamous 100x and not even a 50. But I'm well content with this as Seoul is my largest bag for this cycle so the size on that 30x will be life-changing gains. But I say 380 to 420 in quite the conservative context, it's where the 1618 comes in which would be quite the travesty if that doesn't get touched. And with ETH in its second cycle it did a 5400% gain from bottom to top. 
a 5400% gain from soul's bottom would be around 440. The idea is though with these key levels that you want to front run them. You want to front run the 1000, you want to front run the 500, the key fibs, the key percentiles. You cannot afford for those to be your main targets, that's quite the rookie mistake. But there you have it, most profits get taken between 380 to 420. 1000 is possible. But gut feeling this is purely Payne's guesswork. I think we clear 500, euphoria for 1000 begins, but we top in the 600s and roll over from there. This is Max Payne's scenario as those wanting 1000 don't get it. Those thinking 500 are pleasantly wrong but just for a moment before getting puked in their face. All in the meanwhile I get out here avoiding all this drama. Thanks for playing. See you again next cycle. And you know what else would suck? If your price targets to sell soul are hit but your exchange goes down. Leaving this in the hands of one crypto exchange is asking to get wrecked. Sign up to the Fair Desk Crypto Exchange as it's one of the few international exchanges with no KYC no VPN. And you'll get quite the bonuses doing it with link in description. Like and subscribe as you do not want to miss the next one. See you then.